The history of Arda begins when Ilvetar embodies the thoughts that Aino brought forth during the music and sends the imperishable flame to dwell in the heart of the world. This is the beginning of Ea, the world which is. Arda, place and landscape is a chance for those who have recently arrived in middle of to discover some of the most beautiful places that existed within the Legendarium, and also for the season Tolkien travel to visit some of the marvels that have enchanted them for years, just like Tinkor was enchanted by Melian in Nan Elmot. So prepare your backpacks, pull out your maps and fill up your water bottles. We are about to immerse ourselves into the whole inner consciousness of reality expressed by Tolkien's work. The first capital of Numenor must just be one of the most curious cities that ever existed in Arda. It was situated in the region of Andustar, with one part of the city hugging in the bay and another part sprawling across the steep hillside which re it. In the first years of the kingdom, Antony was the largest city on the island and was visited by the elves coming from the two Eresa. The Barodons were haunted by evil spirits, sent there by the Witch King after a great plague spread across the Cardolan. The area then became a place of terror and was never again inhabited. The witch that dwelt there were awakened by the selfsame Witch King for the purpose of catching the ring bearer. And they would have managed to do so if it had been for the arrival of Tom Bombadil who saved the group of hobbits.
Celebrimor, the road that connected the city and the dwarf kingdom, favored the commercial bonds between the two communities and made it possible for the two kingdoms to reach the higher points of splendor. Sauron was attracted by the flourishing city and its artisans and arrived at its gate as its most beautiful form under the name of Anatar. as a refugee for a dude who escaped from Sauron's attack on the Eridor. The river there was located on the edge of a gore of the river Bruin, hidden among the folds of the foothills of the misty mountains. The upper part of the valley was populated by pines and winding path led to the bottom of the valley, mainly populated by oaks and beaches. At Rivendell, Elrond kept the charge of Nasril, Elendil's sword, the scepter of Anemonis, and the star of Elendil, all which were heirlooms of the lost kingdom of Arnor. Rinlu, the kingdom of extended across the entire forest, but because of the invasion of the dwarves and the growing power of the Sauron, the people of the realm were gradually displaced to the north. During the war of the last alliance, Orphra, who led an army against Sauron, was killed. He was succeeded by his son Trendil, who ruled the wounded land real peacefully for many years. <laughs> 